so now as we can see that these this is the final uh, level of the pressure in these two limbs and at this level we can just equate the pressure here so if you remember in unit 2 we have done pressure and its measurement so i'll just uh, equate the pressure so p1 plus rho wgx because in the left limb we have water and in the right one we have uh, this thing mercury so p2 plus rho mgx now whatever is the remaining height that is same in both the limbs of water this height and this height so that is why i have not written that but you can write that it will just cancel out and then you can just equate p1 minus p2 is equals to rho mg minus rho wg into x where x is the difference now rho m is the density of mercury rho w is the density of water which is flowing in this pipeline if it is oil then you can write accordingly okay now uh, this is the case when the manometer is having a fluid which is heavier than what is flowing in the pipeline so here water is flowing that's why i have used mercury okay now uh, here it is very simple just you have to take all the things to the uh, one side and then i have divided this equation by rho wg because i want that h value in the uh, equation which i got for discharge in that it is root 2 gh right so h how will you get pressure head it is so p1 minus p2 divide by rho wg that will give you head now here you can see mm, yes so here you can see this p1 minus p2 by rho wg gives you the pressure head in terms of water and that is what is our h that we have to substitute in the question so last class as i told you that i'll tell you how to solve it now using this you can just uh, derive i have divided this one so rho m by rho w will give you what this thing so that will be our equation for h that is how i can find out h so same thing i can just divide it with